Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we have the HP Dragonfly Pro laptop. Now, this is a Windows-based laptop from HP, and I wanna give them a big shout out for sponsoring this video and sending over the Dragonfly Pro so we can definitely check out. So what does this laptop offer and bring to the table? First off, it's a 14 inch laptop. You've got a display that is 16 by 10 in terms of aspect ratio, and resolution is 1920 by 1200. But that's not just where it starts or ends, right? There's a lot that's built into this. First of all, let's talk about the hardware and design. Now, it's very simplistic and very clean. I do like that. No labels on there, clean look, clean aesthetic. The HP logo in front looks really nice. Comes in two colors. It's got ceramic white, and I have the sparkling black here, which has little speckles of like stars around. Very understated, but very, very clean. Now, in terms of the hardware, HP's done a lot with a sustainability where the bezel around the display uses 35% consumer recycles, uh, while the back cover is using 50% recy recycled aluminum and the keyboard frame is using 90% recycled aluminum. So that is really nice to see that they have those, uh, you know, just sustainability mindset and actually putting it together in this laptop. And it doesn't look or feel cheap. It feels very comfortable where you're at home working, whether you're traveling with it. I have to say it's very, very understated. Now, speaking of that keyboard, the key travel is great. Feels very comfortable to type on, and also the trackpad is rather smooth. So I do like that there. And I like the spacing of the keyboard. I've got bigger hands. It doesn't feel like it's cramped, and it doesn't feel like it's spread out. So there's very good key travel there on this device. So what else does HP have with this that we should care about, right? You've got three ports. Now, these three ports are USB Type-C ports, but they're not just any regular ones. You've got two of them, which are USB Type-C, uh, 40 gigabits, which of course would give you 40 gigabits per second transfer speeds, also DisplayPort 1.4 access, as well as also Thunderbird 3 compatibility. So what this means is that your two 40 gigabit per second USB Type-C ports allows you to connect to faster external storage, uh, external GPU, and also external displays because of course it supports DisplayPort 1.4. Now your speakers, the four speakers built into them, and you've got Banger Olufsen speakers, which means you're gonna get some really great sound. But instead of me just telling you how it describes, take a listen to how it sounds and how the speaker fills up the room. Quite impressive. I like what they've done there and I think they've done a really good job. Now on the keyboard itself here, you're gonna see something uh, with a set of keys right below the delete key. There are actually four keys there. And these are your quick access buttons allowing you to do a couple of things. One is of course being one touch to go into optimize your device. You've got of course one touch to go to support, which gives you trained support agents that will help you with any specific question as it relates to your device when you hit that button. And this is included for 12 months. And the one I do like is the one touch to go into the camera settings, allowing you to play around with the webcam, which is a five megapixel webcam. You you have a lot of software features that allow you to, of course, uh, pan and zoom, you can blur the background, you can increase your resolution to 4K. There are a lot of things that you can see how well the webcam actually looks in terms of quality. It's quite solid and I like that way that is. And then there's also your favorites button. I allow you to put different favorites, whether it's applications, whether it's, it's, it's uh, software, whether it's of course files or folders, that can be remapped in the favorites button and it's a very quick way to access all that. So now you're asking yourself, Thunder E, you just told me a lot about this laptop, but what about performance? We know you like gaming and yes, that is something that's very important to me and I think to a lot of people. This is not a gaming laptop, but this has a lot of power performance packed in. It's powered by the AMD uh, Ryzen 7 7736U mobile processor with AMD Radeon graphics. And what does that bring to the table? Well, it simply means that if you wanna go ahead and jump in and play a quick game of Overwatch 2, you can, and you're gonna get a solid 60 frames per second, which is great to see here. It ran smooth, effective, and I had no issues on there with this device. 
or you can also go ahead and uh, edit your videos. I am, of course, I'm a content creator and that's something I do. I was able to take this with me on the road, travel over to Boston to go see family. And I was able to scrub through content, edit the content I wanted to 4K without any issues whatsoever. I like that and I like that kind of power performance built in. So what does that mean for battery life? Now, HP promises 15 hours of battery life and this is quite consistent with this laptop. Plus, you do have fast charging where it charges up to 50% in 30 minutes. I think when you look at this laptop as a whole, there's a lot that actually brings into the table in terms of what you're going to get. Now, the unit I have spec wise has 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. Again, using that AMD Ryzen 7 7736U processor. So if you want to pick this up, there are two SKUs in terms of uh, specs, either a 32 gigabyte version with one terabyte or 16 gigabyte uh, version of RAM with 512 gigabytes of storage. So there you have it there. And the starting price is 1,399. I think it's a really solid laptop. This is one I've been using for a little bit. I'm gonna enjoy continue using. And I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about the HP Dragonfly Pro? Let me know, leave your thoughts down below. If you guys wanna pick it up, use the link and always enjoy your entertainment.